In any bolted joint, there are two elements of friction. One is the friction caused by the rotating head, or possibly the nut, about the clamped parts. And then there's also the friction in the threaded part. Now, what we have here is a nice little way of calculating what those friction values are likely to be. So in the rotating nut or head, we can select what type of material that we have, and we can work out the coefficient of friction uh, depending upon what type of material it's bearing upon and whether or not it's dry or lubricated. So we've actually worked out in this particular case uh, a, a rotating friction of 0.1. And we have a similar little wizard here for uh, the threaded part of the friction. So we can choose some uh, bolted mater material there, tapping into another type of material and again dry and lubricated giving us another friction value. Now these two friction values work together and we calculate something called a nut factor. Now a nut factor is quite a simple uh, concept really. It's a, a useful way of going, no, once you, it's using this formula here that I'm uh, highlighting. Uh, if we know a nut factor, we know the bolt diameter and we know the torque, we can calculate the preload. So in this particular case, we've, we can say for every uh, 1,000 Newton millimetres of torque, or 1 Newton metre, the bolt preload will be 391. That's because the bolt diameter is 16 and the nut factor is 0.16. Uh, we can also choose to use a uh, user-defined value, which may have been determined by test, and in fact, uh, if we can get test values, that's uh, always the best thing to use. Or we could use some typical nut factors of uh, common materials, and we just make our selection here with which, uh, which of the three we want to use.